welcome back guys this is our next tutorial it's about how we can set up our Facebook developer key this will only come into the requirement when you want to set up your own Facebook account so I'll guide you with the step-by-step -step procedure first of all we have to open any of the browser and we have to open developer.facebook.com you can log in with, with your normal facebook account and uh, for that you will get an uh, once you will click on developer.facebook.com then it will show a shine, uh, sign in button where you have to sign in with the, your uh, facebook account and then you will land over here where you can see an option called my apps click on my apps initially if you haven't created any app in facebook you cannot see these three like we, i do have free uh, application what you have to do you have to click on create app here you have to give display name for uh, for your application and your contact email ID so I'm going to give uh, display name like uh, uh, classified then I'll click on create ID create app ID it will ask some security question and you just will click on this I am not a robot and submit once you will click on submit it will create your application and it will also navigate you to the settings page here we have to configure a couple of fields so I'll guide you with that okay so this is your application dash dashboard here you do have your uh, app ID then in settings you have to click on basics here you do have you have to add your privacy policy URL and terms of service URL this is mandatory in order to make your application to work with Facebook in production environment that is if you are going to publish with release key you have to write this uh, give this privacy policy URL and terms of service URL apart from that you have to give app icon of your application and the dimension will be 1024 into 1024 it it will reflect in the mobile application page where user will try to when user will try to log in using Facebook account then uh, these are uh, these all are exactly these all are uh, options so you don't have to worry about this then you have to click on advance So, in the advanced page also, uh, right now you don't have to do anything over there, everything is configured already. You can configure this native or desktop app, initially, you, uh, right now we are, this is configuration for uh, Android application, so you can give yes, native or desktop app. you can give yes here app secret also we are going to integrate so uh, e even though if you will not give this right it will work out for uh, our application you don't have to worry much about that then go back to app dashboard again you have to click on facebook login setup
you have to click on android then this part is already done for you we have already integrated uh, android sdk this this step will exactly guide you how you you can do uh, you, you can integrate your facebook in your application so here we have to this is mandatory part here we have to give a package name so package name you can find uh, once you will open your application you can go to manifest manifest will come inside the application app uh, package here you can see package so you can copy this part and paste it over here then default activity name will be your package name dot splash screen here we do have our uh, default activity as splash because is the main act here you can see wherever intent filter this uh, with the action intent main is there that will be your default activity so you can give a splash activity over there then you have to give so i will give some, some some data over here then I'll give, click on save right now this application is not yet published so only it is showing this uh, package error once you will publish this one this will not come up so we can click on use this app name initially then click on continue here in, uh, as I have guided you in our previous tutorial how to create the key store you have to use the same key store and follow this step to generate your uh, hash key key hash that exactly will authenticate your application with Facebook so you have to follow the same step this is for debug you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about debug you have to follow the second one that is for release so release part oh, sorry here it is so getting release key hash you have to follow this uh, command you can copy it you can go to your terminal and you can you have here your release key alias right here you have to give whatever the alias you have given while creating your key store and your key store path release keys key path so uh, the where you have created your key store you have to give the, that path path a apart from that everything will be same and then it will generate a hash key you have to paste it over here and then you have to click on save apart from that everything is mm, yeah nothing required over here so uh, this key has right and also you have to copy this app id from here and you have to turn on this in dev status from in development to pro for production it will ask you to add the privacy policy url in order to make it uh, on development but uh, if if you have to use this application this facebook uh, integrate Facebook uh, integration with uh, your application in production environment then you have to add your privacy policy URL and click on this toggle button once you will add it and click on this toggle button it will turn on and it, the status will show in production okay so here in Facebook here we have to set our application ID in Android manifest file same inside app manifest you can go down you can see count on Facebook SDK application ID there you have to set your application ID the application ID is this one you can copy it paste it right now we have added into the string so you can press control or control if you are using Windows command if you are using Mac click on 
that button and you can see over here so you can easily replace it like paste and replace so i'll revert back because i am using my facebook app id that's it now you have to generate the release version now version of your application and that's it you will be able to log in using facebook account thank you